the Kimura and why it's a great submission attack. It is an extremely effective attack in combat sports. It is also my personal favorite submission to go after when I am training. It can be used from all kinds of positions and it can be used to set up many other attacks. It is the Kimura. I'm Dr. Lucius Pomerantz, board certified orthopedic surgeon and black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and I try to bridge the worlds of orthopedic surgery and combat sports. If you like this, please subscribe and share with your friends. Smash that like button. I certainly have room for improvement and I am certainly open to some constructive criticism. Give it to me below. Anyone else have a favorite submission? Let me know and I will try to make a video about it at some point. In this video, we will talk a bit about the Kimura submission attack. The most famous incident of it being used was when Frank Mir broke Big Nog's arm with it. In this video, we will talk about what the Kimura looks like, why it works, and what happens if your opponent does not tap. As always, be safe out there. The Kimura is a submission attack where the attacker's two arms isolate one of their opponent's arms. The attacker's grip controls the opponent's arm at the wrist and above the elbow. The way the attacker's arms are configured, the opponent's elbow is bent, essentially creating a crank with a long lever arm that can generate a lot of twisting force on the arm. The opponent's arm is then twisted internally. The Americana is externally twisted. I'll make another video about this submission in the future. When the arm is twisted enough, structures begin to fail. Let's talk a little bit about the involved anatomy. At the shoulder, you have the glenohumeral joint. The humeral head makes up a joint with the glenoid, which is part of the shoulder blade or scapula. This joint, like all joints, is supported by ligaments and a joint capsular structure that is thinner and not as strong as actual ligaments. What makes the shoulder joint so unique is that the joint has a tremendous amount of range of motion. A lot of this range of motion is from the fact that it is really not a ball and socket, but a golf ball on a tee type of structure. The humerus then meets at the elbow where it makes a joint with the radius and ulna bones. This is important to discuss with the Kimura and also the Americana and shed some light on their differences. When the arm is internally rotated, the forces that are placed on the elbow stress the lateral ligament. With the Kimura attack, the forearm is pronated. The hand and wrist is turned away from you. Pronation protects those ligaments and the elbow joint. Therefore, with the elbow better able to handle the stresses of the Kimura, the tremendous forces generated are then transferred up the crank to the humerus and shoulder. I will talk about this more in the Americana video, but with the forearm supinated and the elbow externally rotated, you can feel more force going through the elbow. As mentioned, the Kimura creates a crank of powerful internal rotation on the arm. This force primarily bypasses the elbow and goes into the humerus and shoulder. Which tissues begin to fail is dependent on some subtleties of the technique the shoulder flexibility of the opponent, and probably some other factors. For example, if you are able to put traction or pull away on the shoulder, the shoulder ligaments are going to be tensioned sooner and will fail sooner. Also, if one can control how the shoulder and shoulder blade move, the shoulder ligaments are going to be stressed sooner. So, check out how scapular position affects how the shoulder rotates. With my shoulder blades down and back, I do not have much internal rotation. I should work on that. When I let my shoulder blades come up and out, I have a lot more internal rotation. In case you are interested, the posterior band of the inferior glenohumeral ligament is stressed the most when your shoulder is out and the arm is internally rotated. Now, when twisting the arm, something interesting happens. The arm that is up by the opponent's elbow begins to act as a fulcrum. Next to this fulcrum, within the humerus, closer to the elbow, is where the forces are being focused and with twisting, bones hate twisting, this is where the humerus will fail, broken bone. All right, so hopefully this answered some questions you had about the Kimura submission. It is a great one to use on your friends. As always, be careful out there. 
Tap early so you can have a long journey in these sports. Let's keep moving.